Hi guys, it is another miserably hot uh, Thursday, June 28th, 2012, the day after the CEO of ExxonMobil admitted uh, in front of the Council of Foreign Relations that yes indeed, that global warming is real and it is being caused by the burning of fossil fuels. And his advice to this planet was not to stop burning fossil fuels, but to deal with it. And so here is my, uh, I guess here's how I am dealing with it. So this is just a picture of my rapidly dying cornfield. I stopped watering this cornfield, was it two or three days ago? I mean, I've harvested the corn off of it. I, uh, stopped harvesting two or three days ago and it will be totally gone within another couple of days. But I just wanted, I, I think there was some miscommunication in my rant, uh, another garden bites the dust. I just want you guys to understand, particularly as, as this whole planet starts to adapting to this very real man-made climate change, uh, this is, I guess, an amplification and clarification of that video. Now, this is my side down along my trailer, which has no drip irrigation. The, the reason this garden is dying, in addition to the 109 degree heat, is, is mainly because of the water. What is killing it is, is, is the lack of water, uh, which is getting to be a bigger and bigger problem on the planet for more and more people. Now, I just want to go over to this side of the garden. Now, these tomatoes, I, don't, I really don't know what all the story on the tomato crop here is, but other than, than the tomatoes, you know, the rest of the garden is doing, is doing okay, considering what it's up against. The difference between this part of the garden and my part is that this garden is on drip irrigation. Drip irrigation. Well, unfortunately the water's not running through here, but the, the drip irrigation keeps the soil moist. It, it, uh, it, it puts the water directly on the roots of the plants. Like here's this little pepper plant, for instance. The okra is doing, the okra is doing great. Franny needs to come pick this okra. She's not even keeping up with it. Isn't okra a beautiful plant. Look at that flower. Look at these. Look at these peppers, guys. You know, and it's not even. Uh, it's not even July yet. Uh, so, as long as you keep water on your plants, especially through a drip irrigation system, you know, that's the main thing we're talking about. Uh, Looks like we're getting ready to get our first cantaloupe today. The watermelon patch seems to do, be doing pretty good. I know uh, watermelon's drinking a bunch of water. Look at this baby. Maybe that'll be ready by the 4th of July. So there you go, guys. The garden that is getting watered by turning on the tap from the city of Austin, running through the drip irrigation system, is how we are adapting to man-made global warming. Uh, we have the luxury here in South Austin, Texas, of being able to turn on a tap water line and run it through our drip irrigation system. Now, I would say well over half of the planet does not have that, and they are, and this is what they have to look forward to. Uh, this is what their corn uh, was going to look like. I I showed you what an average ear of corn looked like out of my garden. Well, there you go. Uh, so. My guess is that over half of the planet uh, not only does not have a drip irrigation system bought from Home Depot, but uh, does not have a public water tap. 
And uh, so how, how they're going to adapt, uh, I guess that is their problem. And it sure as hell is not Rex Tillerson, CEO of Exxon's problem. Uh, just deal with it. Uh, now the question becomes, my question to all of you who are also depending on a public water tap. When you turn on your tap and it no longer, when you are no longer able to do this and water your obscenely water hungry plants like such as this beautiful hibiscus what are you going to do about it and make no mistake where the future resource wars on this planet are going to be then they're not going to be about oil they are going to be about water so maybe you just want to start thinking about the question if i turned on my tap and no water came out and I had to suddenly live like my guess is at least half of this planet what would I do about it and the old doomsday prophet will leave you with that question because I have an appointment with a BLT bye guys <laughs>